It's time to dance, Husker Nation. Nebraska basketball has two teams headed to the NCAA tournament here on Selection Sunday. Nebraska men's basketball hearing their name called as the eighth seed in the South region. They'll face Texas A&M coming up on Friday. Those Aggies, a nine seed there for the men. And then for the Nebraska women's basketball team, boy, they got a great draw. They are the number six seed in the Albany Regional. They will also face Texas A&M as they are headed to Corvallis, Oregon. I got a chance to catch up with a few of the Huskers after hearing their name called here on Selection Sunday. Here with Rink Mass, we'll headed to the NCAA tournament. How did it feel to see Nebraska's name pop up on that screen? It was pretty exciting. Um, obviously, you're kind of wondering like what seed you're getting, wh where you're going, when you're playing, where you're playing. But uh, like, see your name pop up. That's that's just a pretty special moment. Like something you'll remember for the rest of your life. Your first experience at it too, right? Um, how did it feel for you personally? Just this is what you work for as a college basketball player. This is the reason that I came here. I, I saw the potential in Nebraska and I wanted to play an NCAA tournament. And we've worked all year at it. And now to like see all that work come to fruition and put ourselves in a great position, it's, it's special. You guys knew that you were going to be a team that was in the, in the dance going into today. What went into that, just securing that spot, knowing that, hey, we feel comfortable going into this thing today? Uh, definitely nice to not have the little nerves of being in the bubble and like being pretty securely in. I know uh, some teams that were on the bubble were a little nervous today, but lo it was it was uh, really nice to just sit there and know I, we're gonna get our name called. Just kind of depends where we're gonna play and who we're gonna play. That's that's the biggest question today. Like who are we gonna play and where we're we gonna play? But we know that now, so. You know, in, in this whole time, Coach Hoiberg has talked about how this team has been just so laser focused, one game at a time. And, and despite all the outside noise, I mean, people started talking about you guys going to the postseason, it feels like three or four months ago. How were you guys able to approach this in the way that you were able to, to you know, make sure that you were taking care of business along the way? Um, yeah, obviously, there's always outside noises. I think the team has done a great job of just showing up every single day uh, at practice and like you said, taking it one game at a time. Like, um, there's there's always people that are speculating where the team can go, but we knew that um, we're the ones that we that got to actually do it. And but like, you got to do that by taking it one game at a time and winning one game at a time. And uh, that's exactly what we got now too. Like it's one game at a time. So uh, trying to get ready for Friday. I've been asking Coach Hoiberg, Ernie Ziegler this, but uh, I'd love to get your perspective. When did you know that this team could maybe do something special? Um, well, obviously, like during the summer, you kind of see the see the guys and see the talent that you have. Um, kind of going into the, the non-conference season, the way we uh, slowly kept getting better. Obviously, the game against Creighton was not our best game, but uh, uh, I saw the growth and I saw the potential in the team. So I'd say somewhere – there's not like one specific day where you're like, yes, we can do this. But kind of throughout the season, seeing the progression and seeing the growth of this in this team and the potential that we had. And um, if we play to our potential and play our best game, then we, we can beat anybody. We've shown that this year. All right. What do you know about Texas A&M or has that prep started yet? Um, I watched some games from them last year. I uh, regret to say that I haven't seen a single game from them this year. Um, but. Um, our assistant coaches, like right when, when Texas A&M showed on the board, like they walked out, all right, let's go prep. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll, we'll get a good game plan tomorrow and start pre preparing. So I'm sure we'll be more than uh, ready on Friday. You know, you guys had the bye week before the Michigan game, and then you had the double bye. So how good do you feel? How good does the rest of this team feel? How healthy do you feel to mm -hmm. go into a tournament type situation like this? Um, you know, obviously, it's the end of the season. Everybody has like little aches and pains. It was definitely... Nice to have our uh, bye week right before the Michigan game and then having a double bye and going into conference. So uh, I know for me personally, I'm pretty decently rested. Of, of course, we play two games in two days, but um, we got, we've had enough time to, to get ready and get our bodies ready. And we have another four or five days to get ready for this game. So uh, I think the bodies are in the right place. All right, what goes into this week for you guys to be able to maybe go win a couple games and do something that Nebraska's never done, which is win an NCAA tournament game? Um, well, the the recipe that we followed this whole year, we got to stay consistent with that. Like, just stick with what got us here in the first place. Uh, do the same prep. Um, don't get too nervous about this one game. Obviously, it's a big game, but 
Um, we've played a lot of big games this year. They're like this time, end of the year, there was a lot of must win games. And this is just another must win game. So I'd say it's stick with the recipe that has been successful and has helped us win games. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Are right, you here with Josiah Alec now? Well, this is one of the reasons why you came back to Nebraska. How did it feel to see uh, the Huskers in that NCAA tournament field? Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's you know definitely like a dream come true. Um, you know, obviously it's something that we kind of realized was um, obviously more than likely going to happen uh, about a week or so ago. Um, but you know, it's always nice to you know see it like officially in there um, and just know like the kind of opportunity that's ahead for us. You know, throughout this whole process, like you said, you guys felt like pretty good going into today. What's gone into this team putting things together to be able to put yourself into this position that you're in today? Um, yeah, it really just comes down to not taking anybody lightly. Um, you know, especially in this conference, uh, you know, even though, like, there's no real, like, bad, bad teams when you look at it on a national stage. Um, obviously, you know, Michigan didn't have a great year overall this year. Um, but even with that, you know, they were still, you know, 100 and, like, 15 or so in the net out of 360 teams. Um, and so just kind of keeping us in that mindset and just knowing that, you know, every game we have to be locked in or it's a, or it's a lost opportunity that could hurt us in the end um, just kind of really helped set us up for finishing strong in February and, you know, winning that one against Indiana and putting up a good fight yesterday against uh, Illinois. So I know you guys will dive into the scout for Texas a and but one of the first things that pops up is how good of an offensive rebounding yeah. team that they are. How much are you going to put that on yourself to, to maybe slow that down? Is How important is that your role in that and, and not allowing them to do what they do really well? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's one of our main keys every single game just because it is something that we've been very inconsistent with over the course of this year. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know, especially, you know, me, Rink, Juan, um, and just, you know, all the guards too, because, you know, our best games are when guys like Bryce, Jamar, CJ, and Casey, you know, they, they get up there with like three, four or five defensive rebounds, just coming over the top, um, and just kind of cleaning them up when those bigs are occupied. And so this is going to be a big game, um, for them. And obviously a big responsibility game of just the level of consistency it's going to take from everyone, uh, from one to 15. When did you realize that this team might be pretty special? Might could do something pretty special? Um, you know, I mean, th this is my fifth year. Um, and so I kind of started to notice the signs, um, you know, in the preseason, uh, once I kind of got to start moving around with guys after my ankle surgery recovery, um, you know, I could kind of tell just like the level of depth and talent we had and knew that, you know, if we weren't in this position by the end of the year, it was only going to be our fault and nobody else's. It wasn't going to be a, oh, you know, we just fumbled it in the conference tournament. Like I knew that we would have the type of guys and, you know, just the level of talent and capability to, to be here. And so um, it's just kind of it's, – it's definitely a little bit relieving to seeing it kind of pay off, but, you know, knowing that, you know, it's no time to relax. Not just getting the team to the NCAA tournament. I know you guys want to do something that's never been done here, which is win an NCAA tournament game. What would that mean to you as a Nebraska to, kid to help this program do something that's never been done? Uh, I mean, it would be everything. Um, you know, that that's kind of always been just a, a knock on this on this program, um, you know, since I've been around and, you know, just aware of those kinds of things. Um, just outside of, you know, always like my favorite team where I like watching basketball. Um, and so, you know, every, everyone, no matter what program, like the first is always, you know, the most special, whether it's, you know, the first win in the tournament or the first championship, um, you know, being the first always just means more. And so I know everybody on this team, you know, obviously including me, is they're not, they're not going to lose sight of that these next few days as we prepare for them. Last thing I got for you, you know, Coach Hoiberg has bragged about how businesslike, how professional this team has been throughout this whole season and, and taking it one game at a time. But how important is it to enjoy this time, too? And, and really, you know, this is what you come to and play college basketball for. Yeah, you, you know, it's really tough um, because you, you really have to try to find that balance of just, like, soaking it all in but not getting kind of complacent with what you've done so far because – you know it's not over until that final buzzer's off, um, you know, whenever, whatever game that is. And so, you know, even after we win, like, this first-round game, you know, we can't be like, oh, we made history, like, let's go, you know, and then, you know, curtain falls. Like, you know, it's we still got – then it's on to the next. And so, you know, after the season, we can go back. And, you know, I know our media guys are exceptional with what they do. They'll have amazing recaps and videos to make sure they capture every single moment of it. Um, and so more or less just holding off <laughs> the emotion as good as we can um, until that final moment, but um, no promises. I said last thing, but what goes into this week? The prep, you know, the now that you know who the opponent is, I know you'll dive into that, but what goes into this week for this team to be able to maybe go do something special? Yeah. 
Um, I mean, that's the thing. Like, like Coach said, you know, just in you know how you pointed out with like this being like the number one offense rebounding team in the country. When you're playing against a team like that, it's not as much about what kind of schematic game plan are you going to put together. It's more or less just how badly do you really want this? Um, because at the end of the day, you know, the re if they're jumping over your back, the refs are going to make that call. If they're pulling you out of the way, the refs are going to make that call. And so it's just going to be, are we going to be willing to make those little sacrifices, put our bodies on the line, knowing that they're coming and they're not going to stop. And, you know, we're going to have to take those blows in order to, you know, get them in foul trouble or slow them down. Um, and so, you know, I mean, obviously the coach is going to put together a great scout for us as they always do. Um, but it's just going to be on us players to, um, you know, get the job done. Appreciate your time. Congratulations. Thank you. Here with Kendall Moriarty, the Husker women's basketball team going dancing as the sixth seed. How did that feel to see Nebraska with the six next to it? I mean, it's crazy, but I think we're ready. Like Maddie said earlier, we're ready for, you know, any challenge that comes our way. So, yeah. How much were you guys waiting for this moment? I know you guys were really disappointed, missed out last year, went on the NIT run, but to get back to the NCAA tournament, what did that mean to this team? Oh, it means a lot to everyone, especially for the girls that were here two years ago when we made it. Um, I think it's really exciting. I mean, this whole week that ever since the Big Ten Championship up till now, like it's proven like, come on, like can we get this going? But finally, since it's here and we're seeing that we're succeeding, it's, it's great to see. You know, going back to that Big Ten tournament, what did you guys put together that worked that allowed you guys to make that run, um, to, to put some things together and start playing your best basketball? Yeah, I thought we worked uh, as a group very well together and I thought we um, share the ball with each other a lot and kind of learn from our mistakes from games prior and I think just like moving forward we continue to build on to what we had and I think it took us a very long way. I know you guys were disappointed but how much confidence could that provide you guys seeing the kind of run that you can put together in that short span? Oh a ton I mean making it to the Big Ten Championship is a great thing uh, for our team and having it be a close game too like we had it and so I mean, it gives us a, a boost of confidence, and I think we're ready to continue that going forward into the NCAA. What's been the focus this week, being that you had the time off leading up to today? How have you guys focused on yourselves throughout this week? Yeah, we had a lot of time to focus on ourselves. I mean, defensively, like, we tried different things on defense, like different zones, um, all that stuff. But offensively, we really took a deep dive into our offensive uh, plays and kind of found different reads and all that stuff. So. When you guys had the option, you guys unanimously voted that you wanted to share with Husker Nation here on Selection Sunday. Why was that important for you guys to be here with the fans tonight? I mean, they're a big part of why we're here. Um, I think it's important for all of us to share this like special moment together. I think it's a really cool thing to you know, have them be a part of it too. So, I mean, every time I'll vote yes for it to be here. So. You guys have proven you can play the best in the country when you put it all together. What goes into this week to be able to be prepared for an NCAA tournament run? I think we do a great job scouting teams. I mean, our coaches do a great job scouting teams. So I think just focusing like we have done in the past, just on our scouts, no personnel and all that stuff moving forward, I think will help us in the tournament. You know, and just with this team, it's been so special to see everybody embrace their own role, whatever that may be. And sometimes it's you're like the defensive lockdown person. But, uh, you know, how special is that to be a part of a team like that? that? No matter what it takes, everybody wants to just do their part, whatever that role might be. Yeah, I mean, everyone buys into it. Everyone's having a good time on the bench and on the court. I mean, you can see it just like pouring out of us, like the chemistry that we have. And I think a big reason is that is that everyone buys into the role and works hard in that role and helps us succeed. So. Last thing I got for you, how motivated are you guys not just to, you know, punch the ticket and be there, but to do something more than just making it to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think we're real hungry, especially after the um, Big Ten Championship loss. I think that really is motiv motivating us, like, moving forward into this tournament. I think that our team is going to have a lot of fun. Kendall, appreciate it. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here with Alexis Markowski is Nebraska women's basketball, a six seed. First of all, how did it feel to see Nebraska back in that field? It was super awesome. Definitely was not expecting a six, but um, I was talking to Jazz, and we just feel like we're in a really good spot and position to make a run in this tournament. How motivated were you guys to get back here? After last year, you're disappointed, didn't get into the NCAA tournament, made the NIT run, but to get back to this moment here where you're hearing your name called on Selection Sunday. It's super special. Um, Jazz coming back um, and just us being leaders on this team, we did not want to be in the WNIT again, and we wanted to make uh, the big tourney. And now that we're here, um, we put in a lot of hard work, and I'm ready to see what we're going to do. Obviously, you got to play who you play, but to see the kind of respect that, you know, getting a number six seed after what you guys did in the Big Ten tournament, how what does that mean to you guys? Just, again, the, the hard work kind of paying off at this point. I think it's huge. I think it's really cool to see um, 
them place us as a six. We know that we're that good, and to have that respect by the committee and other programs, see what we've been able to do this last month is really special. Okay, I know you guys were disappointed, but how have you guys responded? Response is right, the big word this, yeah. this year. How have you responded this week coming off the Big Ten tournament run? Yeah, we're really motivated. Um, we've Everyone saw what we could do um, in that tournament, so I just think coming back, working on a few things. Um, we've had really tough practices uh, just to get us prepared for uh, this next moment. All right, what do you know, if anything, right now about Texas A&M? Um, right now, I played against uh, one of the bigs at USA Basketball. She's a really talented player, so um, I'm excited. Um, hopefully, we get to scout them a little bit more this week before, but um, we're ready. You're fueled by that. How much do you like that? You you like being matched up and having those kinds of matchups, right? Yeah, it's going to be fun to play against some of the best uh, posts in the country um, and just play against different programs and teams that we've never seen before. You mentioned the scout. This team has been so great at that all year. What is it about this team that you guys enjoy kind of diving into that and learning about other teams' tendencies? Yeah, we really lock in. Um, we're a very high IQ team. Um, our focus is always really high on our scout, and we have great coaches who put together a good scout. So um, I feel like that's definitely to our advantage. You know, I know not just making the tournament, but how? what does it mean to this team to maybe go not just make the tournament, but to win a game in advance in this tournament? Yeah, I think it's going to be really fun um, to see what we can do. And just now that we're there and now we're that we're in a position to win games, um, we're just ready. We put in the work. Um, we, we're going to trust our training, trust our coaches, and um, it's going to show. How much confidence can you take away from what you guys did in the Big Ten tournament into the NCAA tournament? We're feeling very confident right now. Um, obviously, we wanted to win that last game, but to make the run that we did, um, we needed everyone, everyone to step up, and our team is the closest we've ever been. Uh, we put in the work, so I think we're just ready for March Madness. Tell us about the chemistry of this team because, I mean, you guys spend the whole week together in Minneapolis and then you come back, you got a bachelor night, you got taco night. How much does this team just love being around each other? We do. We're together all day, every day, any moment we get. We watch The Bachelor every Monday um, together. Um, we all live together, and so we're like neighbors. So there's not a day where we aren't hanging out with each other, and it's because we want to hang out with each other, and that's what makes this group so special. All right, what goes into this week to be able to be prepared for an NCAA tournament run? Yeah, I think locking in on scout, uh, taking care of your bodies at this point is super huge with the recovery and just feeling yourself the right way. And um, I think just we have this expectation now that we're going to give anyone our best bet and um, they should be scared to play us. So you, know, you went into this thing as a freshman. How different do you feel going into this this year, this time around with, with much more experience and much improved to uh, arguably than what you were two years ago? Yeah, like, like you said earlier, um, now we're in a position to win games and we're not just going to the tournament versus my freshman year. It's kind of just we're happy to go and be a part of March Madness. But now we want to make a run, and out of the three years I've been here, this is the moment that we've been waiting for and preparing for. Best of luck. Appreciate your time. Oh, thanks. Postseason basketball, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Should be fun as we head into March Madness with both of these basketball teams. And we've got all the coverage for you right here on the Huskers Radio Network and on our Huskers social media platforms. We've got pregame coverage, game broadcasts, all of the great stuff right here. So keep it right here. And our postseason basketball coverage is brought to you by John Henry's. John Henry's is proud to be the official plumbing, HVAC, and electrical partner of the Huskers, now serving Omaha. Thanks for watching and listening. Enjoy March Madness, Husker Nation. Go Big Red.